my alarm's at 5.15. So I try to be like first one in, last one out type of guy. And when I get home at five o'clock, here comes the dog, my little Frenchie. Here comes the, daddy's home. And in my head, I'm just like, let's go. But I try to like set aside time, at least an hour, hour and a half, just to like, you know, spend time with them. Cause in the season is very hard. Like my body's beat up. My mind is all over the place. But at the same time, you know, my boys are seven and four. They're, they need, this is the time. I remember when I was seven and four and those are the highlights, some of the highlights of my life. We love Nashville. It's like a, you know, big city, small town feel for sure. Just like Austin is, everybody kind of knows everybody, but it's actually a bigger city. That was probably like the toughest time of my life, to be honest. I've had injuries, you know, I lost my dad when I was 15. Not having ball and not having, you know, being around the guys, being in OTAs, missing all that, missing that foundation that you build with your teammates, the grind, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears. I missed that. I mean, I got here and I think I had to play three, four days later against the Packers. I remember in a preseason game, and now it feels like I've been here for like three years. It's, it's crazy. When you really care about somebody outside the building, that's when I think you take you, you take your game to another level as far as playing for your brothers. You know, going to their baby showers, going to their charity events, like spending time, because that, that's a choice you have to do outside of football, because you're tired. You know, you invest so much into this building. When you leave the building, you don't want to do anything but, you know, just chill. But I mean, when you when you enjoy your brother next to you so much that you'll you'll be willing to like put your neck out for him, I think that means a lot. I'm so thankful for this team, my teammates. Like just to have a close relationship, not only with your you know you know KB Logan, Malcolm and Dory, and all those guys, but just Coach Vrabel too. Like I've talked to him more than a year than I've talked to like a lot of head coaches. It really is a family feeling, and it makes me want to play harder, you know, do more, be a better person and a player.